We're going to look at a quick demo of how you can use ArcGIS Online to do some analysis. In this case, we're looking at schools uh, within St. Paul, Minnesota, and we want to look at are there some unhealthy eating options close to high schools. And so we're going to set up an analysis where we look at a 10-minute walk time from high schools in St. Paul and count how many convenience stores are within that area. So the first thing we start with is we've got a layer here. We already have the St. Paul schools turned on. If we look at the legend, we can see that we've got elementary, middle, and high schools. We're only interested in high school, so we'll do some analysis right away, and that's some basic filtering. We'll filter based on an attribute, and we'll find the type, and we'll select for high school, and we'll apply the filter. And you'll see that then we end up with a handful of high schools within St. Paul. Our next step is to calculate how far can a student walk in 10 minutes. And this is really a buffering question, right? We do buffering in GIS all the time where we buffer by distance, say a kilometer or a mile around a particular point. In this case, we can buffer by time. And this is really a, a fun and easy tool to use. Um, so if we go into the analysis, fun analysis functions, um, we can use proximity, and again, we can create regular buffers based on distance. But we also can create drive time areas. And stopping here for a second, we can create um, driving buffers based on how far you can drive. And this is really fun that's been added uh, recently, is you can also use traffic information. So you can base it on different times of day or use live traffic. So in our case, we're interested in walking time, and we said we wanted to calculate a 10-minute walking time from the uh, St. Paul schools. And if we run this analysis, it'll send back a request to ArcGIS Online. We can see this spinning circle. That means it's doing its calculations for us. And this is really an amazing tool. Um, think about uh, five years ago, if we were to try to do this, we'd have to create the network data set. Right? We'd have to find um, all the streets, all the trails, everywhere somebody can walk and create that part of the data set. And ArcGIS Online provides that for us um, so that we don't need to do that work. So there we have our um, buffered areas. And there's one down here that looks a little strange, right? There's kind of this piece missing from it. Um, so we can zoom into that area. And what's nice about using ArcGIS Online or any web-based mapping program, we have different base maps. So we can turn imagery on and we can see, oh, it's a golf course. We shouldn't be walking through that. So that's why we're getting this uh, different shape here. Um, so that makes sense. All right, so we've got our 10-minute walk area. And now we need to add convenience stores. I'm going to go back to the dark gray canvas base map so we can see that. Um, and so to add the convenience stores, I've got a spreadsheet of convenience stores. I'll open it up real quick. It's just called conveniencestore.csv, and I'm opening it in Excel. And we can look at it and see there's nothing special about this. Uh, it's just the name of the convenience store, the street address, and the zip code. And so with that information, we can uh, drag and drop that CSV file into ArcGIS Online, and it's going to do geocoding for us, right? It's going to use the World Geocoding Service. It matches up the address information and the zip code information, and I click Add Layer, and in just a few seconds, we've added the convenience stores from that CSV file. And so we can see the distribution of the convenience stores across St. Paul. And then our final step uh, in answering this question is... Um, counting up how many convenience stores are within each of these 10-minute walk buffers. And in order to do that, uh, we'll hit the analysis tool on convenience stores again, and we'll use um, uh, summarize data, and we'll summarize within, and we'll use the travel from St. Paul, so our 10-minute our polygon with convenience stores. We'll count the number of points and we'll run that analysis. And so again, we're doing a real common uh, GIS uh, technique. Um, it's an overlay um, where we're taking two layers, in this case, convenience stores and the 10-minute uh, walk buffer from St. Paul Schools. We're overlaying them and we're um, counting how many points 
convenience stores are within each of the 10 minute walking areas. And so when that result comes back, we can see that it's added a new layer there. And in order to see these results, we have to take a look at the attribute table and we'll see that it added a column uh, count of points. And so if we sort those descending, uh, we can see that uh, uh, Central High School has two points and uh, Arlington Senior High has two points. Right, this is not a real large data set. We've kept it kind of simple for this quick um, demonstration. But hopefully you can see how it could be useful in doing some spatial analysis. Um, I want to add just one more uh, layer to this uh, to this map, um, you know, are there any kind of socioeconomic um, differences between where these schools are located? And this would would have been something that would have been hard to do in the past, but with ArcGIS Online, um, we can use the analysis tools again. In this case, the data enrichment tool. And so I'm gonna make this just a little bit bigger so we can see that. And we're gonna use the 10 minute buffer again, and we're gonna select variables. And this allows us to go a huge list of variables um, from American Community Survey, from uh, other business data sets, and enrich our existing data with um, these var variables. And I'm just going to pick one variable here to keep it simple. I'm just gonna grab the uh, 2018 median household income and apply that. So we have one variable and then we'll run this analysis. And so as that's running, we're gonna wait to make sure that we get the little circle running again that's running. So what it's doing, it's, it's really similar to any type of an overlay, except it has all the population data and census data built into ArcGIS Online for us. We don't have to go find that data anymore. And so when that comes back, we have our enriched data. And again, in order to see this information, we have to open up the uh, attribute table. And so we've got our information in here. And if we start scrolling to the right, we'll see that it appended some variables um, to each of the uh, schools. And so we've got the polygon. And then for... Um, the very last column here, we have the median household income. And so we can see that uh, this school here has a median household income of 116,000. Um, we can you know, now work with this. We can sort this descending and see which schools have um, the highest uh, down to the lowest median household income. And by clicking on that, we can highlight which school that is on the map. So that's just a real quick overview of some of the uh, analysis tools that you can use in ArcGIS Online. There's a whole suite of tools. Um, it's, it's really amazing what you can do online with GIS.